Right now, a powerful storm system is developing just off the northeast coast, where now we're beginning to see the thunderstorm activity just occur just to the north of the center of circulation. And we're beginning to see snow on the northern side of this storm system. However, for the most part, this is mostly a rain event. We are seeing heavy rain throughout southern New England. Watch out for that possibility of flash flooding associated with these heavier rain bands. And what these heavy rain bands represent is that there's a highly convective environment. For, so this storm is likely undergoing rapid intensification at this time because there's plenty of cold air behind it that's going to interact with the very warm air mass that's okay just to the east of this storm system so we're seeing this storm rapidly intensify and over the next several hours once the storm system continues ahead for a northward we're going to see more of this rain turn into snow once we begin to see more of a north to northwesterly wind flow that will force a cooler air mass uh, closer to the coast for this to be Become more of a snow event for many areas of northeast um, right now um, we are seeing some snowfall in the higher elevations of up say New York Massachusetts as well as New Hampshire and Vermont Albany still experiencing rain so as Boston but that's quickly about to change over the next several hours once we really begin to see that northwesterly flow bring more of that cooler air closer to the coast for this to be more of a snow event now moving east where we do see some lake effect snow but for the most part the heaviest snow for the midwest has moved on but there is that possibility of a second snowstorm impacting the midwest by um later during the week so i'll keep you guys updated regarding that storm system but right now we're seeing heavy rain this is expected to change over into snow within the next couple hours and now it's time this out for you guys because this is expected to potentially bring close to two feet of snow so you want to take Take this very seriously over the next 24 to 48 hours in terms of what the computer models are forecasting at this time with this current snowstorm of course the certainty is very very high at this point since we're of course less than 24 hours out from receiving winter storm like impact so expect this um so expect the forecast to be very certain don't expect any um major variations there could be minor variations but at this point you should prepare if you're under a winter storm warning or if you're expected to receive over a foot of snow in many of these areas because we do see that a european model does expect that this will turn into more of a snow event once we really get to see that northwesterly flow move into the northeast and there's a pretty significant jet stream dip and along with the warmer the warmer temperatures that are associated with the warmer gulf stream water moving up the coast that's creating an unstable environment for the millibar pressure to drop significantly as this moves further northeastward and moving even more forward we see that even more of northeast is involved and the pressure is down the 978 millibars so the winds will be quite strong as well where many areas could experience wing us between 40 to 60 miles per hour and i wouldn't be surprised that, that in some localized areas it could be a little bit more than that but we do see a large portion of new england and upstate new york experiences very heavy snowfall moving forward the uh, it seems like a negative tilt with the jet stream is likely to occur but we're going to see the snow pressure some move just a bit westward before it moves back towards the northeast which means that you're going to experience a prolonged period of very heavy snow throughout new england thanks to this negative till we do see that even entering the early morning time on wednesday the snow still sticks around for much of new england and including maine and the higher elevations of course are likely to experience over a foot of snow so you want to take this very seriously and also along with the gusty winds of course comes the possibility of coastal flooding already for tonight for the coast of new jersey and long island and into our very early on tuesday as high tide approaches uh, many areas are expected to receive minor to moderate coastal flooding so if you're along the Long Island coast or along the immediate coast of New Jersey for tomorrow morning you need to watch out for that possibility of coastal flooding and for New England it should occur later but the coastal flooding will be more significant since you're gonna receive more of a stronger easterly flow which will push the water along the coast as well as the fact that the storm will be much stronger by the time this approaches the same latitude as New England so the winds will be stronger which will 
uh, which will create a higher storm surge threat. So if you're along the New England coast, such as Nantucket, the, Ma the coast of Massachusetts, you need to prepare for the possibility of moderate to potentially major coastal flooding. Don't rule that out, that possibility out all throughout the coast of New England, but uh, make sure to prepare for snow associated with this for a snowstorm, heavy snowfall rates, um, one to two inches per hour are certainly possible. And then this should move out by the midday on Wednesday. Eventually, we will see the instability reduce and that will allow the storm to weaken a little bit and then eventually move slowly to the east as it should along with the westerly winds. And that should be it for the snowstorm, but it should be very impactful for much of New England. So we need to prepare accordingly. Now, moving forward into later during the week where there's another low pressure system that's gonna move towards the Midwest where we're gonna see this millibar pressure drop down to 995 millibars and it'll only continue to strengthen as it continues eastward where we're, um, where we're gonna receive heavy, um, the Midwest should receive very heavy snowfall here where Minneapolis could get involved, Iowa, Nebraska, South Dakota, Wisconsin, and there's still uncertainty regarding the exact trajectory of this low pressure system because while the European model wants to take this storm a little bit further northward, the GFS model wants to take this storm a little bit further southward. It really all depends on how strong this ridge will be and ex the exact position of this ridge because if it's a little stronger and if the position of the ridge is a little bit further northward, then of course this will force a storm a little bit further northward to the point where it'll impact more of the northern, the extreme northern areas of the Midwest where it'll impact Minneapolis a little stronger as well as the northern portions of Wisconsin and Michigan while areas far southward such as Milwaukee, Chicago and even Des Moines it'll be more of a rain vent or entirely a rain vent in that scenario so we're gonna need to wait and see how strong this ridge will be and the exact position of this ridge because that'll be a huge determinant in terms of the trajectory of this storm system but we do see the millibar pressure drop down quite a bit down to the 980 so gussy wind should be associated with this as well but i'll keep guys update over the next several days regarding the track forecast of this storm system and exactly how much snow you should receive but based on what the computer models are saying if you were to experience an all snow event with this specific um specific um specific storm system then you're more likely to experience 6 to 12 inches of snow throughout um the northern midwest so you need to pay close attention to this it is likely you will experience a significant winter storm by next week in the midwest it all really depends on where but the general trajectory is very similar between two computer models so that does raise certainty but it but the small variation of how far north or south this could go can make a big difference in the forecast but i'll keep you guys updated over the next several days the GFS model is showing a very similar forecast to what the European model is stating that for this first snowstorm, very similar trajectory, very similar strength. Um, the GFS model does bring the storm system a little bit closer, but for the most part, you should expect a large area of heavy snow throughout New England, so not much uncertainty there. But for the second snowstorm, we're going to see the difference right now where the GFS model does take a track a little bit further southward to where more of Wisconsin gets involved. And while Chicago still pretty much experiences a rain event, could maybe receive some snow on the back side, and so as Milwaukee, but the storm track is a little bit further southward, but not by much. So it so we should expect this general trajectory. I will say that Chicago will, will likely experience mostly a rain event from this storm or entirely a rain event from this storm. So as Milwaukee, based on the based on the certainty with the forecast, I want to bring this storm's trajectory in this sort of um, um, direction, which me which means that it's unlikely we're gonna see major variations that will shift the forecast a lot further southward. So. I will say that Chicago and Milwaukee, this will mostly be a rain event for you guys, but depending on where exactly that rain snow line will be, that will be a big determinant for those a little bit further north or closer to the rain snow line because that could mean difference between 6 to 12 inches snow to receiving no snowfall at all. So you want to pay close attention to those small variations in the forecast over the next several days, um, but make sure to prepare accordingly throughout the Midwest because it is likely a significant winter storm should move through by the late week. 
This is GFS's snowfall forecast over the next several days. We do see that much of the Northeast would experience well over a foot of snow. Um, this includes upstate New York, Massachusetts, northern Connecticut, as well as the southern portions of Vermont and New Hampshire. So you need to prepare accordingly for that. And for the Midwest, from this next snowstorm, you, there, of course, like I said, there is a large area of six 12 inches of snow you should expect and milwaukee it's going to be a closer forecast for you guys but i lean more to less snowfall than more snowfall in that area over the um for the next few forecast runs that are soon to be released and then taking a look um towards northern wisconsin and michigan there is that possibility you could experience over a foot of snow which would definitely be very very impactful you need to be aware of all though uh, of that possibility as i will say that in a lot of these areas it is likely you will experience a major snowstorm the european model is showing a mostly similar forecast to what the gfs model is stating especially for the northeast but we do see a pretty big difference in terms of where the heaviest snowfall exactly occurs in the for this next midwest snowstorm because the rain snow line is a lot further northward to where milwaukee isn't even close to experiencing accumulating snowfall in this scenario but we do see still a pretty large area of 6 to 12 inches of snow throughout the northeastern portion of minnesota and northern wisconsin and so over a foot of snow for the northern portion of michigan so this is only something to pay close attention to and we do see less snowfall for the more central portion of the of the midwest and we see of course the rain snow line a little bit further northwestward to where des moines experiences little to no snowfall so we're gonna need to pay close attention to where exactly this rain snow line will be the, the european model has been the more reliable model this winter so i'd still lean a little bit more to the european model but don't completely disregard the gfs model either but prepare for that possibility of a major snowstorm in a lot of these areas because it is likely whether the gfs model is correct or the european model is correct so this is my snowfall forecast when it comes to this next major northeast snowstorm in a lot of these areas you should expect over a foot of snow in the higher elevations of massachusetts vermont um, new hampshire as well as portions of upstate new york and then a large area of upstate new york um, Vermont, Maine, and even Massachusetts and Connecticut should experience 6 to 12 inches of snow. For New York City area, it's going to be a relatively close forecast. I'd say New York City might experience an inch of snow, so as Long Island and northern New Jersey, but not much more than that. Or it could, and New York City certainly could not um could be um could not experience snowfall at all in this scenario so where so you definitely need to pay close attention to that in new york city metropolitan area for that possibility of snowfall but there is that possibility snowfall um wouldn't occur um since the snow will be focusing more on new england in this scenario but um yeah guys i uh, thank you guys for watching make sure to subscribe if you want to see more weather related content